Let me know down in the comments, would you like to get in the water with a 20 foot python like this? Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh dude, it was horrible. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Today we are going to have an absolute blast because I am going to do something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. You know Daisy and Lucy were always soaking them and I thought to myself what if we remove RJ and Bowser and actually have some fun in the pond with them. Retix love to swim so it should be really fun to give them some space to kind of swim around and hey you know what I'm going to go ahead and get in with them and have some fun with them too. I think it's going to be an absolutely incredible time. But you know what? But if I'm gonna get in the pond, I'm gonna have to go ahead and change. Now don't you guys make fun of my flowery shorts, but hey listen, I brought my swimwear here so we can have a good time. Would you guys swim with a big 19 or 20 foot python? I mean, I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. And again, I think the snakes are gonna really enjoy just kind of that free roaming in there. It's gonna be a great time. What do you say we have an amazing time together? Push all our problems aside for the rest of this vlog. Go down in those comments and tell me something awesome about yourself because I love to read about you guys. While you're down there, can you smash that like button? Let's get this video over 5,000 likes for swimming with giant snakes. What do you say? We just go ahead and jump right into it. The deal is we have to clean Lucy and Daisy anyway, so I figure rather than putting them into a holding cage, which we were going to soak them anyways, I figure we'll just go ahead and get in the pond with them. So the first thing I've got to do is get RJ. I think I'm going to let RJ just run around, and then I'm going to put Bowser in a holding tank so that there's no other animals in the pond besides myself and the retics, of course. So uh, what do you just say? We go ahead, get in the water, and uh, see how this goes. Okay, so first up, we're gonna go ahead and have Daisy in here. Figure it's a good test run, right? Because Lucy might be a little bit more difficult. Daisy is beautiful, and Daisy usually loves the water. So let's just go ahead and get on in and see what she thinks. What do you think, girl? Do you like that? Oh yeah, look at it. She loves it. Oh my God, girl. Oh, it's amazing, reticulated pythons, they just glide in the water. I mean, look at that. That's a girl. And there's nothing that she can really get hurt on here, just the waterfall, and there's no real crevices I'm too terribly concerned with, but I'm gonna keep a close eye on her. But I just want her, this is great, she's gonna get a little exercise. It's good for her, although she doesn't have any stuff shed on her at all. She looks absolutely gorgeous right now, but uh, I tell you what, it's amazing how strong these animals are. I mean, woo, dog, it's so beautiful. That's a girl. Let her kind of cruise around a little bit and feel her way out. Look at how awesome that is. That's my girl. Oh, she is so gorgeous. I tell you what, she's amazing. Like I said, reticulated pythons love the water. You can see how she's just kind of puffing that air into her lungs and she's floating. Look at, I'm not even holding her up whatsoever and she's able to do it. And that's the way that they kind of become buoyant is they just fill their lungs up, bam, and sometimes they'll like let that air out and go right to the bottom. So how cool is that? I don't know, there's just something about being in the water with a snake like this. The only thing I'm worried about at all, to be totally honest with you, is her pooping in here because that wouldn't be that good for RJ or Bowser. That would mean that we have to clean the water up. But we're actually gonna do a little bit of a water change anyways here, so kinda was the perfect timing for him. So there you go, Daisy, good girl. And it's pretty amazing how just kind of relaxed. I mean, she was cruising around in the beginning, but uh, once she kind of just got settled in, I think she's really enjoying just kind of hanging out. Again, you can see I'm, there's no holding whatsoever. I'm doing nothing. She's just kind of completely hanging out. She's kind of using my arm as a branch a little bit just to hang out, which is totally fine with me. And uh, I tell you what, this is freaking awesome, man. Again, I don't think Lucy's gonna be quite as easy, to be honest with you. This time with Daisy has been absolutely incredible. So Daisy's cage is clean. So we're gonna go ahead and get her put back in. Let's hope Lucy goes all right. But hey, listen, I know Lucy's gonna absolutely love this. Okay, so here comes Lucy. Oh my God, look at, she went right in under. She loves it. You could tell Daisy was a little bit more tentative, but look at Lucy. She immediately just went right underwater. And like I told you how they let all that air out, that's the first thing she did was kind of let all the air out and just sink right down to the bottom. I was really worried about how she was gonna react, but it looks like she's loving this. 
Oh my gosh, this tells me for sure we're gonna have to have a huge water basin for her big cage next door. And Lucy had just a little bit of stuff she had, not too much, but a little bit. Take a look at her right now, just hanging out under the water. Her tongue is flicking, she's having such a good time. This is freaking amazing. This is so freaking cool. It was amazing being in here with Daisy, but the fact that Lucy seems to have taken to the water so much better, I mean, she just looks unbelievable in here. Oh my gosh, look at how cool. This is one of the coolest things. I did not know it was gonna be this awesome. Oh my god, guys, I am tripping out right now because you guys know when I have Lucy out of the cage a lot of times, it's a struggle, like she's all over the place. And look at her just kind of gracefully going through the water. She doesn't seem to be stressed out at all. She seems to be so comfortable. And again, this makes me know that I have to have a huge water basin for her next door. I mean, she loves it. I am so excited about this. Oh my gosh, Lucy, you look so amazing, girl. Take a look at guys. How freaking awesome is that, man? Lucy's just hanging out in the corner. Her head's just barely out. The rest of her body is completely submerged. Like I said, she's let all the air out of lungs. She absolutely loves it. She's an aquatic beast. This is the first time she's ever been in a big water enclosure like this. I mean, she's just loving it. Look at you, girl. You have a great time, sweetheart. I'm just gonna spend some time in here with her, just kind of letting her do her thing and kind of just cohabitating this environment. This is freaking awesome. That's my girl. Oh, I tell you guys, you can never get this close to Lucy and not worry about any actions. I mean, she is just amazing. Guys, I tell you what, I want to stay in here all day just messing with her. I mean, she is so peaceful right now. I love seeing her this way. Oh. Again, you know, I knew they were gonna like this, but I had no idea Lucy was gonna be this awesome. I mean, this is so cool. Let me know down in the comments, would you like to get in the water with a 20-foot python like this? I mean, I know I'm having a freaking blast. Oh my God, it looks so good, girl. All right, I'll just let you swim around a little bit. There you go, sweetheart. There you go. And again, just those few pieces of shed that she had just are coming off, no problem at all. This is perfect. Oh, there's a floater. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Ew. Oh, it's got the gut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of and silly. I get to spend the rest of the day in the poopy water yeah. all over my body. Hey, Lucy, you're all right, sweetie. You're okay. What's going on? You like the waterfall, girl? Oh, again, guys, I've been around Lucy since she was a baby, and she's never had this type of just awesome interaction. She's always just been a little bit of a moody girl. Not in a bad way. I mean, just, you know, she's just not that kind of daisy attitude. But today, she's being absolutely amazing. I mean, this is such a great opportunity to spend this time with her. And maybe this is a great bonding thing, too, you know? Having that interaction where she's like, oh, this is kind of cool. Maybe this is a good thing for our relationship as well. <laughs> oh, my gosh, she's so awesome. I think Lucy's about had enough. Her cage is clean. She's definitely got some exercise and a good soak in her. And she even had a little bit of a poop, truth be known. So I have a little cleanup in the pond before I put RJ and Bowser back. But uh, this has been absolutely amazing. I had a great time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. So let's go ahead and get Lucy back in. I tell you what, guys, there are a lot of things that I love about what I do. I mean, spending the time with the animals, doing all the adventure and travel, it's amazing. But days like today, were freaking awesome. I mean, because you don't know what to expect. You know, getting in with Daisy or Lucy, you don't really know how they're gonna react. And to have that experience, in particular with Lucy, was really mind blowing to me. That was amazing. And I absolutely am gonna do that more often because I love it. Even if I don't film it, I'm gonna do it because I just think that she loved the water. She was so peaceful and so calm. So that was freaking amazing. I've been showing you guys the bigger Woma pythons lately, but this is one of our babies from last year that we're raising up. I mean, just look at how yellow and beautiful that head is. I mean, these things are so cool. The fact that we have a few females that look like they're gonna go this year, with any luck, I mean, could you imagine if we got three clutches of, you know, eight or 10 eggs and actually hatched out 25 or 30 little baby Womas? Oh my gosh, I sure hope that happens. But the truth is, just like this gravid Brazilian rainbow boa here that kind of bred off season, and I just don't know what's gonna happen, is you never wanna count your babies until they're here. You know, I don't have real high hopes for this girl, 
girl. You can certainly see she's really loaded up back here. Her scales are starting to get distended, but the fact that she doesn't have that really big look that most Brazilian rainbows have, just like the Walmart pythons, they're looking great. We've seen breeding. All the signs are perfect. But when you bred reptiles for as long as I have, the one thing you learn is until you have good, live, healthy babies that are really eating, you never count those babies before they're ready to go. So that's just kind of all part of it. You take the ups and the downs, but I still have huge expectations for a lot of our production this year. And remember yesterday, my buddy Miguel sent me that hoverboard and I got pretty good at it pretty quick. Although I did take a couple nasty spills. Well, I want to see how Noah does. Noah, have you ever done a hoverboard? One time. You did it one time. Did you fall or did you do it okay? No, I did good. Really? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if Noah can do good with this. Go ahead. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I like chill. And then, oh my gosh, you are, whoa, hold up. What? <laughs> you did pretty good though. I mean, really, you did all right. It wasn't, I mean, you did way better than I, I did. You gonna do it again? Yes. Okay. And bam. Look at this guy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa! <laughs> was, thinking, oh my gosh, I think you're gonna you're gonna be a whiz at that. Oh man, I tell you, I kind of feel bad. I thought that hey, it took me a couple minutes to get the hang of it, and I thought I was doing good. Noah just steps right up and is pretty good at it right off the bat. Oh my gosh, Eric, you up next? Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Get off though. Alright. Okay. All right. Use the force. Balance. Oh, balance, that's it? Yeah, that's really it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god, I wanna get off. Oh my I'm, oh, I'm falling now. You're good, you're doing good, good. you're doing good. Uh, it's more of the lean forward on like push uh, your toes. Whoa! <laughs> See I'm not I'm not good with my balance. Watch just get the dog that's out of the way. Easy. I don't want to land on the dog. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh my God, I can see my life. Good. I'm getting off, I'm scared. Oh my God, oh shit. How oh dude, that? it was horrible. I don't know, <laughs> that is not fun. Just ride a bicycle or something, you know? I mean, oh God. <laughs> he did good. He did good. That was awesome. And with that said, I am going to go ahead and end the vlog here. What an amazing time I had today with those animals in the water. What a great experience. And I'd love to know from you guys if you would ever want to do that because trust me, I mean, it's not for everyone, but I think it was absolutely incredible. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for your support and tuning in every day. You mean the world to me and I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like? like button as well as turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time remember to be kind to someone today and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow <laughs>